Hello, St. Joseph families. As we near the end of the 2021-2022 school year, I am pleased to bring you the state of the school report to provide a picture of where we are and where we are going. A good starting point is our mission, which is what we and the school board point back to in any decision. This is what guides us. It is a privilege to be part of this community that so greatly values and echoes our mission statement. After two years of living under the COVID-19 protocols and masking guidelines, we have begun to return to a sense of normalcy in our school days. In February, the mask mandate was lifted and we cannot express how wonderful it is to see everyone's smiling faces. Thinking about the future, we pr prioritize what is most important to invest and continue our growth. Those priorities are our people, our place, and of course, our program. These are what matter the most at St. Joseph's School. This is what made, has made St. Joe so special for the last 150 years. The people as our students. Recognizing our eighth graders are excitedly getting ready to prepare for their next chapter of lives, I am so pleased to announce that collectively, the Archdiocese of Baltimore saw the highest high school placement test scores in the country. That is a true testament of hard work to our students and teachers alike. The state of admissions and enrollment for St. Joe's is strong. We are one of the top performing schools in the AOB for new inquiries, enrollments, and retention. We have seen enrollment grow over the past five years. Our retention rate is 96%. We are the target, we are on target to exceed our enrollment goal for the 2022-2023 school year. This is a healthy, thriving school community. Many new families are hearing about us by word of mouth and all of the recommendations from our Wolfpack family are so greatly appreciated. Speaking of our Wolfpack families, the people as our parents who entrust us to care and educate for their children, we thank you for your support. Please know that our doors are always open to answer any questions and discuss any concerns. We are blessed to have your children here and look forward to continuing to serve them in a loving, faith-filled way. Our biggest investment, the people as our teachers who make this place work every single day. Their dedication, hard work, and perseverance in an uncertain school year are second to none. Ms. Trimble and I are incredibly grateful for them, and we're so proud that Ms. Urbanski has made it to the final round of the AOB Teacher of the Year. As you know, we are currently hiring for a permanent principal position and various teaching positions. The principal search committee is currently conducting interviews. We've garnered a lot of interest in our teaching positions as well. So please continue to let people know that we are hiring here at St. Joe's as we work through the process. Some upcoming programs and projects to have on your radar. Easter break begins this Friday. This is Holy Week. Heading into Easter Sunday symbolizes our faith. Lent and Easter celebrations are an are integral part of our Catholic identity. Students had begun the unique had had the opportunity to witness and reflect on Jesus' last days by visiting the parish Passion Walk and experiencing the Stations of the Cross with their classmates. We hope you enjoy this special time with your family and we wish you a very happy Easter. Please remember that spring uniforms began on April 25th when we return. Also coming up is the annual race for education that will be held on Friday, May 13th. This year, all race festivities occur on campus during the school day. We invite you to come and cheer on or run with your student that day. The race info packet will be sent home today with more information to celebrate this year's Race for Ed. And HASA is hosting a Race for Ed community kickoff party on May 1st. You're invited to celebrate with us the 1030 mass and then stay for the party immediately following. There will be an afternoon of good food and good family fun planned for, for all. As you know, the money raised from Race for Education contributes greatly to us being able to make improvements in our facilities. In 2021, enough money was raised to begin our gym renovation. I am thrilled to say that after many COVID delays, the project is finally underway, and we look forward to returning to the school in the fall with a new gym, which includes new flooring and basketball hoops. 
Separate from Race for Education funds, we secured money to upgrade our heating and air conditioning system. This summer, a new HVAC system will be installed in half of the building. It will be on the gym side and will include gym, fourth and fifth grade classes upstairs, and downstairs it will include kindergarten, pre-K, and third grade. Thank you for the opportunity to share this update with you. Know that here at school and church, the leadership has the best interests of our students in very heart in everything that we do. Please enjoy your much deserved break and we'll see you on April 25th.